Okay, so this is a great way to be able to create your own private keys. And why do you want to do that? Well, it gives you the most control. So if you're with an exchange or a world provider uh, and they make mistakes, well, you're actually trusting them with your private keys. And that means you're trusting them with your money. So if you can actually learn how to control your own private keys, you've got control uh, and you can keep them safe. So let's go through the process. Uh, it's literally just a five-step process, uh, which I've got here. So you go to bitaddress.org, you download the source code, you copy that to a USB, you open that uh, on a computer that is not attached to the internet, and then you create your private keys and you keep them safe. So pretty basic, let's actually go through that and see, see exactly how it's done. So bear with me for a sec while I bring up the site. Here we go. So this is bitaddress.org. What I'll do, I'll just refresh the page so you can see what it looks like when you actually get on there. And what it's asking you to do here is actually create randomness. So the reason, you, what I'm doing now is just moving my finger along the mouse pad. And it, that is creating randomness because there's a certain amount of code in here. But by adding this, these extra, this extra input, it adds security because it just adds a whole other random to, randomness to be generating those private keys. And then this will show up. So you've got your Bitcoin address, which is the public one that you can share around. And then you've got your secret private key, which you don't want to give anyone uh, unless someone who you want uh, has access to your money. So if you want to be generating a new address, that's all fine. You can go through here. I'll leave it to you to actually have a look around this site. But the safest way to be generating these addresses is when you are offline. So one way is to actually just click your Wi-Fi and turn it off and then be generating those keys. If you're real pedantic, and I am, this is how I do it. So if you go on to the top of your console, you can see that you've actually got the view. So you've got file, edit, view. If you go into view, developer, view source, what that allows you to do is actually see the source code for the entire website. So what we're doing while that's actually coming up, you can actually see that here is the, the HTML and the code behind the entire website. Okay, and what we're going to do is copy that. So if you click onto the screen and you go Command A, that'll highlight all of it, and then Command C, that will actually copy it. And what we're doing is copying that into a text editor. If you're not sure what that is, Google around, figure it out. Uh, the text editor is literally just what you write code in so it can actually run on a computer. So I'm going to do Command B to paste that in. It's a quite a big file. And there we go, you can see it's around 12,000 lines of code. Um, and so what we're going to do now, I'm just going to drag all this the way up so you can see how big it is. It's massive. And what we want to be able to do is save this onto a USB and then open that up onto a computer that has never touched the internet. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to save this. So just go file, save as, we're going to do bit address org, I don't know, coin city. We're going to save that and now I'm actually going to disconnect from the internet uh, and reopen it to make sure that I've done this correctly. So uh, if we close all this up, I'm going to click my Wi-Fi, turn off Wi-Fi and now if I try to refresh, you can see I'm no longer connected to the internet. But now what I can do, I can go into file and open file, go into desktop, we're going into Coin City. What I'm doing is bit address, where I find that one, bit address org, HTML. Let's click that. So I'm not connected to the internet, but now I do have access to this file, which allows me to generate the keys. So now I can go again, generate, go to 100, 100, 100, 40, 50. Let's keep going. And now, if I did this on a computer that has never touched the internet, it's even better. Uh, but this is still pretty safe. And now I have an ability to create private keys, as many as I like, uh, and I'm very safe. So once I get the, uh, the private key, keep them safe, you can, can, you can encrypt them, you can chop them up into pieces and then give you know, one to your mum, one to your brother, one to your cousin and separate them. And then when you need them again, you can give them again or put multiple in different places. Lots of ways to do it, just make sure you remember uh, because more people lose bitcoins from forgetting the forgetting your keys than from being stolen. So let's um, uh, all make sure that we remember 
the private key and how we're actually storing it. Definitely please don't email it to yourself. That's just a waste of time. You are going to get hacked. So chop it up, encrypt it, uh, find out a way that does it, and you will be able to create your own private keys and be safe and secure on the Bitcoin network. Like, subscribe, do those things. Any questions, let me know. See you in the next video. Cheers.